Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Adding some dynamic models into the scene always makes the space more vivid. So, in this update, some dynamic models are added to D5 Asset Library. In this video, I will show you the dynamic curtains in D5 and how to use them. Dynamic curtains can be used in living room, dining room, bedroom, and simply anywhere with curtains. Open your scene. Click Assets, Model, Accessories, Curtain, and you'll see all the dynamic curtains. There are three kinds of dynamic curtains. Opening or closing curtain. Curtain in the wind. Opening or closing curtain in the wind. Select a curtain you like. Place it in curtain box. And adjust its size accordingly. To further adjust the curtains as you like. You can change the material using different kinds of cloth and sheer materials that D5 provides. This is helpful for both still frame rendering and animation. Don't rush into rendering when it's time to output video. The animation of curtains is repetitive. So avoiding the repetitions during the process can make the animation seem more smooth. This is how I deal with it. Observe the animation of curtain. And click on the video rendering button the instant curtain animation is about to repeat itself. Then you go to arrange the cameras and clips to get a complete and coherent curtain animation in the final output. Another tip. Cameras with dynamic curtains shouldn't be set too long. In addition to curtain models. D5 Asset Library also provides thousands of useful high-quality models for interior designers. Take a look and discover your go-to assets. Alright, that's it for today's video. Thanks for watching.